Right out today in Birmingham, waiting for the others to arrive as usual. Rusty's late, like always. With also, there's some strange people down here today. Look, let me show you. Look, there's one over there. You might know who he is. Look, he's trying to look all technical with his camera. Morning, Paul. Morning, Nigel. Morning, everybody. You okay? How was it going? You missed it. Miss your opportunity. Right, there we go. You're done. And we have Magnet and Steel. We have Tracy down there. And what was your name, sorry? Alan. Alan. And this Tracy. is Alan as well. Apparently he walks the dog. Yeah, Tracy's but, husband. <laughs> so we've got half a Magnet and Steel. I don't know which half, but we've only got half of them. Oh, AJ Magnet Fishing. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'll get it right then. AJ Magnet Fishing. There we go. The others. Are they coming, the others? Yeah, okay, so we've got the important one here first. The other boys will be coming later. So, let's have a look, see what we find in this place. So first throw, got remains of a fence. Good sized pole that. No, better not. Yeah. It's tempting, isn't it? Bird. Something like a big key, I think. It's got the square end on it. Heavy on lump that. Random square piece of metal. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Birmingham. There we go, so the remains of a shopping trolley. Welcome to Birmingham. Oh, we'll have a safe. Full of stuff as well. Because I've got a good magnet. <sighs> I've just pulled up a safe. Let's see what's in it. So we've got some very pink impulse. We've got a bottle of mini Fablusa ready to use disinfectant. Oh, look at that, Paul. You're behind the legs now. There we go. So nice. <laughs> <laughs> it is, yeah. We've got some trimmers for Paul's legs later. Nice. And we've got some... Oh, nice lipstick as well. And something. little wooden block. Little pot. Morning, Aaron. Morning, We've got another pot of... Body souffle. There we go, look, all in there still. We've got a um, load of serviettes, party serviettes. Oh, we've got, we've got some nice sweets. They're looking a bit manky, those. Now that you two, look, on the birthday cards now as well. <laughs> and, a, and a weed grinder to go with the makeup. Oh, 2021 diary, so this is quite a fresh one, this is. Nice dinner plate. Oh, we've got some more jelly sweets. You hungry, Paul? Jelly sweets. And, uh, so there we go, some photos, so this is all like somebody's birthday stuff and um, yeah, some thieving git has stole it and threw it in there, so there we go, how you doing? It is isn't it? So you can shave the legs while grinding your weed. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. 
first pull. Uh, no, about fourth. So there we go, that's the save. Old rusty pipe been flattened. So Aaron on his first row got a scaffold tube and a can of Pepsi. Oh, loads of testing. Right, okay, so got part of an old bed. Got a trolley handle from Dunelm. Part of a leaf spring for a car, that's broken off. Random piece of metal. So we've got an ignition switch. Still got the key in it. God, this is going to be a day with them two, isn't it? I'll take him anywhere. Safe on the third pull. Fake pack two pound corn maker. Wow, oh, that stinks. Okay then, so uh, now I've got uh, another couple of superstars. He's turned up and he's our superstar. I mean, he's he's a superstar as well, but you know these two are. <laughs> I've been called a lot of things, but never a superstar ball. No, I've never oh, been Hey, I just called a legend the other day, and I don't know why. Legend. 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 Called a legend the other day, and I don't know what's going on there, right? So. So, just a random bag, bits of metal in it, looks like cutouts of something. Good morning, so Aaron's darling. found some random stuff. He's calling me darling again, look. <laughs> so as you see, we have Glenn, Steve Marvellous. and Marie. <laughs> so I think most people are here. Marie and Glenn. And now Hang on another little stranger's turned up. Don't get much stranger Marvellous. than that one. Oh look How's who it is! It's, it's Stephen! It's Stephen! Rusty Nuts is here now. Right, I think everyone's here. I wouldn't like to write over. Oh, morning, Brett. <laughs> so, Aaron's found a drill bit. I could do some damage. Do, do him. Yeah. Rusty. It's incredible, isn't it? And some scrap. <laughs> So I've got Harry's fence clip. Yeah. I don't know. So Aaron's got himself a walking stick. And a random piece of something. And he's drained. And I've got a metal cube. I don't know what it is, but Aaron, see if you can get it rusty from here with it. <laughs> no, better not, he'll no, kill him. Aaron's got a large plate there, look. Is that a proper and solid He's got a like dirty that? ring. Leave that with Steve, he loves a dirty ring. It looks like. Oh, it's a motorbike frame, is it? Or is it a push bike frame? It's a thing. Oh. oh. Oh, so we've got <laughs> the mangled remains of the motorbike, they all started and smell as welcome to Birmingham. And a fence pin, which will wrap around Steve's head if he finds another one. 
Yeah, I'm right. So I've got a magnet on for speaker and a halo for Paul. Aaron's on Steve's rusty ring. You're obsessed with my rusty ring. I love your rusty ring. It's because it needs oiling. I've got a <laughs> yeah. shank, can I, hey? Shank's on one with it, yeah. There we go, Tracy's done me some more presents. I've got a coaster and I've got a Birmingham shank, so if Glenn don't behave, he's going to have um, fishing stuck in him later. There we go, so a big thank you to Tracy. <laughs> so Aaron's got a bit of scaffolding and some more random rings. Could be, isn't it? Maybe not even a motor lock, not like a machine or something. Yeah. It's like a half user, isn't it? Yeah. And there's a little plate with a couple of bolt holes, like a prop end. Off a Land Rover. And Aaron's got himself a drive shaft off a Land Rover. I don't know if you can see it there, but it's got Land Rover written on it. <laughs> I hope the rest end in there for your sake. Look <laughs> <laughs> at part of a prop shaft. The UJ for it. <sighs> there you go, good cover off a lamppost. Another prop UJ. Back box of the power switch. May not be the 10mm spanner, but I found the 10mm socket. Part of a bonnet hinge. Just a random plate. And some more UJs. And this is what happens when you let someone have a go, you're extreme. They throw it to the other side and get it stuck on the tree. <laughs> I think it's not that side. Yeah, it is. Oh, sorry, <sighs> Can we have Anne a minute? I did not expect. Look, quickly. AJ. Quickly. AJ. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No, Sophie had to go and stuck it to the metal the other side when the boat was coming. Yeah. <laughs> so she got it stuck to the other side. Now she's got it stuck to this side. Look. That's the evil fire. Extreme. Extreme. Yeah. Extreme backache. I didn't get that. We've got a transformer. And we've got a foot peg off a motorbike. Yeah, it's got a set of keys belonging to Dad. So, got a red light or something. I've done a bit of fence clip. I've got a handrail and electrical backing box. And I've got a CB joint as well. Another CV joint, you see the splines on the end. Random plate and um, threaded bar. Eighteen carat, yeah. It's the first happy pill of the day. It's more random scrap. No. What is it then? 
Well, because it was uh, a double birthday celebration today, uh, this week, here we go, we've got some cakey buns for you and Nigel. Yay! But it'll ruin my bikini body. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday Day for you. Oh, look, we've got Happy treats. Happy birthday to you for this week. <laughs> if you had your ages up, you'd be Tory, wouldn't you? <laughs> if you carry on, you'll be dead. Just because we get the best points, then... There we go, yeah. guys. <laughs> hang on, there's more. Hang on, hang on, he's in his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> I've found enough of them. Well, Don't stand next to Nigel because there's another present. Well, because um, you uh, got out of the face dunking on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm running out. <laughs> and there we go. I just got a dribble. <laughs> Nothing new for you. Say hello to the camera, Murray. Hello. I'm running out. I'm covered in snot. <laughs> oh. Because you knew what it was made out of. I'm all congealed now. It's not the first time you've had that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to edit that one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on. That's because you got out of the face planting. Got that one. <laughs> that was over in like three seconds. Oh no! You lasted quite a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the longest I've lasted with silly strings. So there we go. Mad, so We're covered in gunk. Gunk. <laughs> gunk and cakey buns for everyone. <laughs> Prince Steve's been visiting Poundland with his silly string. He only lasted three seconds. <laughs> and summers. Steve, I'll hand them out later. So no, we're not. We're just going to sit in the corner and eat them all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, to him. Now, strawberry, vanilla or chocolate. Mm. That's your birthday cake for the pair of you. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Bob. Thank you. There we go. So I've got a looking wheel bolt and a spray can. I've got another fence clip and that strange looking thing, whatever it is. Another prop UJ. So I've got the lid off something. Not quite sure what, but strange. The pipe. There you go. Well, I think it's taller than him. There we go. Manky bar. And what else have you been finding? Well, there's, there's the others down there. And it's been a while, but... A bike lock, blimey, it's been like Cambridge. Two weeks now. More CV joints. Uh, prop UJ. Yeah, some manky weapon. And another bit of prop, I think. Yeah. And the big bolt. And that explains all the bearings then. Yeah. And he's got a look. God, who'd want to fish in this water? And he got a knife handle. Look at that. Crafty knife. Yeah. Somebody don't like fence bins around here. Look at the state of that. Uh, got a random pipe and a pole with some feet on it so it would have bolted to the floor like that. There we go. The remains of a sign, very old one. So I've got an old rechargeable battery, another dirty ring, metal plate. Apart for a prop shaft. Oh, look at the hat in there, look. So I've got an old bit of thready pipe. Another bit of really smelly pipe, heavy cast iron. Got the uh, and Aaron's got another bit of pole.
and I'll get another bit of pole. <laughs> oh look, and there we go, an original 80s chav canister, otherwise known as Evo sticks. That's what you had at the weekends when you couldn't get no petrol. So I've got another one of those poles with the feet on it. Oh yeah. <laughs> there we go, so that's a ring that holds the bearings and the, uh, on the CV joint. And just around a bit of plate. Oh. There we go. Still toe cat welly. Brilliant. There's the inner piece of the CV. So we've got to be in the ring with the bearing. And there's the inner part of the bearing for the CV joint. So there was definitely a bearing factory here somewhere. Or oh, CV factory. On the same pole. <laughs> There we go, to the scaffold pole. It's a vape, isn't it? I thought that. Yeah, there's a button. So Alan's found himself a vape. I wouldn't be putting that in my mouth, I can tell you that. And he's also canning it in. Right, so Alan's just found a hoop. Oh. Nice bit of angle on, look at that. That'll do, that's a murder weapon that. Well it would be, if you dropped it on your foot, you'd bleed to death. And he's found another bit of racking, yes. And if your phone goes flat, Android, obviously, and another prop shaft UJ. So I've got another bar, another bent piece of metal. So I've got another pole with one of them feet on it. There we go. I got that. Not quite sure what it is, but a bit random. One of them, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> definitely one of them. Or one of the others. Could be one of the others. Nice can of breaker, extra smooth, strong lager. I ain't drinking that. Breaker, breaker. So I got a prop UJ, there's a surprise. And a bearing to go with one. Bit of monkey pole. Block of steel. And a bit. So. They were definitely manufacturing drive shafts and um, flipping all sorts here. Got a few bearings and bits and bobs on that one. That's going to be a nightmare to get off. Look at that. <laughs> Oops. Found some more bearings as well. Look. Look at that flipping lot. Oh, God. This cage is getting the last lot off. I've got to do it again now. Steve. There we go, so I've got a snap-on E20 socket. There we go. Is that useful? Aaron's got himself a nice handle for a saw. Very short one, but it would have been a good find. So we've got a rather unusual shaped lump of metal. Solid though. Probably yeah, part of the drive shaft. All, yeah. Another CV joint. How was that for a torch? Look at that, that's proper high power that is. <laughs> and keys. They are old, it's an old Vauxhall key. And the key rings all broke, it's all fallen off, but yeah, some of these keys. So we've got CV joint. Prop UJ. Prop UJ. Prop UJ. And part of the prop, known as the what's it called? Universal joint. I've got a bigger UJ. one. Look, there we go. Look, <laughs> he had to get a bigger one, didn't he? It's not the size; it's what you do with it. I've got a three prong one. <laughs> you got a baby one. Hey, look, that's a hardly lump of metal similar to yours, but with a different shape. End. <laughs> Unbelievable. So you never guess what? A couple of UJs. 
and a drive shaft, complete one. There you go, you can see all the little bits we're finding. I've got a complete one, so that's one each now, one to Aaron, one to me. Can't see whether mine's Land Rover though. Guess what? You Jays. You Jays. <laughs> I'm gonna find something different now. Ah, oh, there we go. It didn't work in here, did it? So I've got a pole, got a spike, and some more poles, and a scaff clamp. Here he is. Scaff lamp. Got some metal handles off like an old workshop box, probably what all these bearings were in. Got an exhaust. I got a scaff clamp and a bowl. Some sort of support, isn't it? And Aaron's found that. Looks like a telescopic support for something. I don't know what, it's too manky, but mind your back. Right, Aaron's just pulled that up, which is the plate from a dashboard, as you can see. Fuel and temperature, and whatever it is, takes 47 litres of fuel. Different. You never guess what? I found some more. Ugh, flipping heck. So I've got some more random bars. Set of brake pads, and there's the new bolts to fit them. <laughs> so Aaron's found a bag, lucky bag, with a set of brake pads in it, and the new bolts to fit them, so they didn't use the new bolts. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Especially when they work all right. So there we go. Nice set of bolt croppers, look. They're like new, them things. Brilliant. I might keep them, actually. They're in really good nick. And a happy pill. Can of air freshener needs it round here. That's big old cable clip like that. It's a big steering gator, isn't it? There we go, got a rubber gator off something, got a metal insert in it. There we go, got myself a nice fishing reel. It's a bit seized up though, but there we go, nice fishing reel. Oh hang on, there we go, we're freed off. So Aaron's got himself an old boot, it's your size. No. <laughs> so got an old hook and an exhaust pipe, there you go, old, old, old style exhaust. So, bulldog clip and a pair of happy pills. So, we moved along from there because we're finding loads of drive shafts, we were finding CV joints, universal joints, these things, thousands of bearings. Well, apparently down there was the original Hardy Spicer factory, which manufactured them all. So they've now moved and they've become what? GKN. GKN, they, the companies merge, and that's down that way. So that must have been where the old factory was and half of it ended up in the water when they probably shut down and moved. Brilliant, because we've got found in it all in 1966. No, seriously, feel the weight. Oh, I still mind it. <laughs> so Aaron's just pulled up this, got it way some. Not quite sure what it is, but that's a big old lump of metal. Door rub strip. Oh, 
there we go look at that that's going to warn the others up because they went the other way but look four seven six two bullets brilliant sorry guys you should have came this way oh no that's what i was trying to avoid The they were in there. Oh, were they? Yeah, they just fell off. Because that's what I hooked on first. Them. I'm sitting on there and see if they push it. And there we go. Flaming trolley. I hate trolleys. Flipping thing. There we go. Got a nice little fishing lure. And a push chair. There we go, got a hard drive as well. So we've got a special lager here, look. It says on the top, skinny. <laughs> Shouldn't really laugh, but you ain't gonna get very fat drinking that, are you, look? <laughs> it's not gonna hold much. It's in that, bottle of skinny. There we go, so Aaron's found the first North Ants knife of the day. Well, with a blade, anyway. So Aaron found that. Hungry hippo. Not me, I've just got oh, right. the moves. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> <laughs> it's hippo time. <laughs> it's not hammer time. <laughs> so I've got a bit of rusty tube and a very bent fence spike. And we've got an overhead projector screen. There we go, you can see that in there. No, it's an overhead projector screen, mate. Can of Carlin on the happy pill. And I've got an R205B ring. Another rusty ring. Another rusty ring, yes. <laughs> and that, whatever that is. Oh, have some chain. So there we go. I've got some chain and god it stinks. And it's bloody heavy. what it's from oh that's um little Stuart little Stuart little yeah Are you sure yeah you're gonna make me look stupid on camera now so Aaron got a far and he's got chicken little he said it was Stuart Little, and I knew he was trying to make me look stupid <laughs> chicken little bloody Stuart he was a mouse weren't he yes yeah, see look this is what you like this is what you have to put up with <laughs> incompetent Yorkshire people right does that look like a mouse? What can I say? We eat mice in Yorkshire as well as chicken. <laughs> chicken little. Bloody chicken. And this is what happens when you sit by a bench. The other drunk sit on. You get loads of bottle tops. I think there was 64. But there we go, bottle tops. Got a bit of angle on. Long old bit. <laughs> Got myself a shovel as well, look, missing its handle. Alright, so you know we found the fuel gauge in the early. Aaron's just found the faceplate for um, a speedo or something. Another um, gauge. There we go, just a bit of my bit of metal bar. And look at that for a corkscrew. Aaron wants the bottle it came out of. There we go, it's got a fuel and temperature gauge, that's another one. 
Found a nice little one piece for Glenn. Look, he would like that. Definitely his colour. So we've got another temperature and fuel gauge. Different car this time. Can't have one to two, can we not? <laughs> oh, there we go. More temperature and fuel gauges. There we go, so we've got that. That's an old tight rider. It's all cast on, so that's a proper old school one. Oh, nice. Electrical conduit. There we go. Found a nipple clamp for Steve. Come on, Steve, come and try it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. Yeah. See, all coming up now. Oh, look. Prop UJ. Been a while. And it is a motorbike. <laughs> it's, a motorbike. it's an old uh, Honda. Honda 90. Oh no, I don't know. Speedo's the wrong shape. Honda 50. No, because they were oval. It's a Vespa. Single sided yeah, fixing. Yeah. Is it Vespa or Lambretta? I don't know. I don't know me motorbikes very well. You got the name down the front. That's how it's. That's gonna be yeah. Uh, Vespa or Lambretta, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. Who knows motorbikes? Vespa or Lambretta? <laughs> <laughs> Cop out. <laughs> it's more our era, but we ain't got a clue. <laughs> what if the rest of it's in there? Oh, we just found that. Part of an old motor, but I'm not quite sure whether it's a Vespa, Lambretta, because I don't really know the old one. But that's, yeah, that's what the top looks like with the Speedo is. So if any of you know, drop it in the comments. All I can tell you is it was red. And there's another bit of it as well with some sort of pedal on. There we go. Alright, so Aaron's got these bits. You know, taller than that. There we go. These cutouts. He's found what they can be cut out of. That, the back of a gauge or a dial or something. Right, so I've got an old file. And I've got a Stanley knife. And a knife is a knife. There we go, so got a half shaft out of a rear axle or something. Unbelievable. So we've got a grill and got a looks like a backing plate for an old number plate, really old that is. So Aaron's just been using the grapple and he's got the remains of a football tangled in just about everything else. A metal bracket. Random. That's part of Hoover. Hoover. So I've got the brush out of the Hoover now. now we, look, there we go, it's looking tired now. Blumming things. You got some wire. Yeah, she's so got a roll of cable now, look. I've got another file as well. We could have a little UJ, it's tiny compared to the others. Oh, so. Safe, no, it's a water tank. Title tank fell magnet fishing. <laughs> it's, we're pulled out a tank. Look at that old water tank. That's a git to get tank. that is. Yeah, but a tank is a tank, so it's no lies. The title says it. A tank. I've got hook. Baron. I'm 
believe it or not, a UJ. Yeah. Oh. So we found another gauge. This one says Smith's. As you can see, 180 kilometers an hour that goes to. So that's about 120, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, there we go. So we've got an old analog one. So that's not deep enough for a CV, that's weird. So we've got that. Uh, end of a prop. Goes in the end, Good possibly. Base. Part of a prop or a CV oh, joint. And you got it. We got one. A CV joint. It looks like that. That low box to the rail on top of the engine cover. Yeah. So we found a forklift that was carrying all the CVs on. <laughs> so we've got a seat for a forklift truck. That's a proper old one as well. I just hope they have the rest of the truck in in there. And another CV joint. There's a first. For a minute. Like there we go, so we've got a steel toe cap boot. Been a few shoes and boots coming out today, aren't they? It's nice, lovely, so refreshing. Alright, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> I'm getting moist. Thank you. She's quite nice, isn't she? It is really refreshing actually should have brought me shampoo what do you mean auntie done look he don't nor does he don't shave a load of money down there yeah you do yeah don't have to worry about, worry about cutting it or anything no we're just saying bald people save a fortune on shampoo and conditioner we do, yeah. <laughs> I think they have a good ride of air when they get in the car. Yeah. You know, it's all going to be dripping in the yeah, light. Yeah, when you ain't got air, just straight down your neck. Yeah, right, yeah, that's right. Good to him. So Aaron's been on the baskets. I'm not quite sure what they're for, but the two there. Oh. And there's two more there. And another one there, so five basket cases. Pipe join them. A little can of something and a pipe joiner. And some more prop shaft UJ bits, loads of. Vent plate. They are, aren't they? Another speedo. Smith, kilometres an hour again. Another UJ. We cut the rusty rings. Another basket, another UJ. Ow! Another CV joint, not being finished. And I've got himself a metal dinner plate. And he got an old toilet system as well, with a hook on it. Bag of stones. Centre prop shaft bearing. Another instrument cluster face. Two more baskets. There it goes. Just found that, not quite sure what it is. A little lever for something. Hmm, don't know. But then. Well, it sounds like a cement mix or something. Yeah. Once it's like double. Well, it was a tripod for something. I ain't got a clue what, but something. Right, so I'll take you around here so you can see all the scrap. Got it all taped up ready. So this will be the first pile. And 
we go. So we've got one pile of it there, as you can see. That's a good sized pile, that is. Mad. So that's there. And then I'll take you up onto the bridge. Now you can see, and that's the second pile. Look at that. So much rubbish, it's unbelievable. Right, another good day out in Birmingham. It's been horrible weather, it's been too warm. This rain is actually really nice, I'm quite enjoying it. But but there we go, you can see we have Tracy, we have Alan. Much, no problem at all, thank you for the plaques. And we've again. got up on the bridge there, rusty nuts, peaky dippers, and the loud one that don't really need an outro, Paul. There we go. I'll see if I can get him to acknowledge me. Say goodbye, you lot. No, they're just being ignorant, look. Oh, look, they're going to have man hugs in a minute. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed the live stream last Friday. Don't forget, next, this Friday coming is going to be a good one because we've got a competition going and it's the taste test so we'll catch you all soon see you wednesday for the premiere